Based on 2012 numbers, it would take 40 years worth of blacks killed by police to equal the total number of blacks murdered by other blacks in a single year. Right. Less than 400 people a year are killed by cops. 61% of them are white men. 32% are black males. Black men are not killed out of proportion when you consider they're much more likely to interact with police. People are killed by police about as often as they're struck by lightning, but I don't see many protests about storms. Black males... <laughs> Black males are 58% of those killed legally by private citizens in self-defense. And you think, aha, we've got you on something. Except 75% of them were killed by other blacks. <laughs> FBI statistics on murder lay bare the real threat to black lives in America, and that is other blacks. Black men are about 6.5% of the U US population, but they commit 52% of all murders. That has dipped to about 40% in recent years. Black men overwhelmingly murder other black people, and white people overwhelmingly murder other white people. So just like abuse and harassment on the internet, this isn't really a racial issue like that isn't really a gendered issue. Thank you, Seattle, for being one of the most progressive cities in the United States of America. We are trying to be, we are trying to be reasonable. We are trying to be reasonable. We are trying to be reasonable. We're going to give you, we're going to let you on the mic. We are going to give you the mic. I will, I will speak when everyone is ready. I'll wait. Thank you for showing me how black lives matter. Continue. I mean, honestly, uh, Charles, it's good to see you with the Black Lives Matter movement. I, I, my advice to every presidential candidate out there, if they want to speak with you, challenge them. Yes, I do want to talk to you. And when they do get in your presence, ask them, if Black Lives Matter, how come you ain't cleaning up your own community? Okay, before you want to talk to me about me running any type of president seat, why are you not cleaning up your own community if Black Lives Matter? Where were you at in Chicago? Where were you at in Baltimore? Where were you at in Ferguson last week when Jamila Bolden was shot dead in her own home in that drive-by shooting on Tuesday night? If Black Lives Matter, where are you when this stuff in foolishness is occurring? I would be, every president candidate out there should challenge them. Yes, they should meet with them and ask them, why are you not cleaning up your own community before you ask me to clean up mine? Black Lives Matter only because they want to protest for thugs. You understand what I'm saying? They're nowhere to be found in our own community. I'm still looking for them. You understand what I'm saying? I'm in L.A. I'm looking for them. I don't see them. But yet they want to go to police stations and they want to protest to and, and, and disrespect other people. Start with us. Talk to me. Start with us. Because I, I have a whole lot to tell you about what's going on in our own community if black lives matter. You understand me? People are sick of this foolishness. All lives matter, I understand, but yet if you want to recognize black lives, recognize the ones that we are killing in our own communities if you want to talk about this. You understand, no president, presidential candidate should be afraid of this superficial, shallow movement. They are cookies with no milk, Lamborghini with no 12-cylinder engine, clouds without tempest. They are shallow. You understand there are movement going, but when you look inside, it's nothing there. I Call agree. them at their bluff. Look, challenge them. Would you go Grill them.
Looking at overall violent crime, blacks are 27% more likely to attack whites than vice versa, and eight times more likely to attack Hispanics. This is the shocking number I hope you take away from my visit. 90% of blacks that die of murder die at the hands of other black people, and that's from the FBI homicide report, 90%. We're not here to talk about why this happens, why 74% of black children are raised without fathers per Health and Human Services, and why the government seems intent on continuing a cycle of destruction within the black community. My message is simple. Black lives don't matter to Black Lives Matter. If they did, they'd be confronting these issues instead of ignoring them completely. A group called Omaha in Solidarity was formed following incidents of police brutality across the nation. And today, as Brian Mastery shows us, they took their message to West Omaha, staging a silent protest in a very public place. This is not a group shopping trip, but a pre-planned protest, and we're in the middle of it. Not a word spoken. And on signal, about 20 people took part in a die-in at the Oakview Mall. The local activist group Omaha in Solidarity staged the four and a half minute event to illustrate a point. We are tired of having uh, issues of police brutality and killings and shootings that have been going on over the past couple of years. And really it's been going on for the longest time. So we're just trying to address that here in Omaha and nationwide. The silent protest at the mall's food court was an attempt to spread the message that had previously been espoused in North Omaha. A lot of people out here don't know what's going on. They don't experience this firsthand. So we're just trying to get the point across. This is what it looks like when you have all these people um, dying, being beat by the police. That's what the whole die-in part is about. Well, it's just crazy talk. That's ignorance in its purest form. You know, I think we need to rethink the strategy. I don't know why the police even bother policing those uh, demonstrations. They're not protests. Those people advocate for the overthrow of our legally constituted <coughs> government. What hey, I would do is let them fend for them. Let them fend. Let them fend for themselves. Let the good law-abiding <coughs> people of New York clash with them for disrupting their lives, disrupting their businesses. Then the police can show up and arrest these subhuman creeps for <coughs> creating a disturbance. That we can do. If you look at, I would say, 99% of all the video stuff that you've seen, where you've seen police brutality and things like that, it's during what? Non-compliance. Right. And what that simply means, I'm 6'8", 390 business pounds. Yeah. <laughs> I'm light-skinned. I have a beard. I listen to music loud. When I get pulled over, mm -hmm. it's never fun. Yeah. It's, it sucks for me. Yeah. Because the cop gets out and goes, huh, because he'll see this sitting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I because I don't want him to go, huh, <laughs> because he doesn't know. Right, right, right. There's a giant tattoo, and he he's has to investigate to see yes. who I am and what I'm about. Yeah. Hands are on the steering wheel. I ask to do everything. If he asks me to get out of the car, I get out of the car. Right. That's compliance. Yeah. I don't need your fucking message. No, I was trying to get your message. I'm a reporter. I don't, we don't want it. Well, then, do no, the thing is, you're not respecting that there are kids in the circle. These police target our children. Do you understand that? Yeah, I understand Do you, what no, you're no, saying. No, no, because white kids don't get killed at 7, that's 10, right, or 11 years old. Right. That's but why that's what. No, all we asked was the respect and the moment. Then why are to you not doing it in a kids. very public place? A very public because place. Because when we do it in a private place, we're surrounded. We're surrounded by the police. Right. All we ask is that you not take because there were children. And you can't even respect that. You're the I'm a first, journalist. You're the first person to myself. tell me that. You're the first person to but mention children. But they said children. it in the circle. Remember they said in the circle? Remember they no, said they in the circle? No, they did not say that. Yes, they not did. Not while I was there. They asked, I was asked to leave and I left. And you did leave. Yes. But they also had said when the kids were about to speak, please nobody tape because they're I kids. I wasn't there when kids were speaking. There's kids sitting all around, no, but man. You, you I, but it, you're in a public place. You have to understand that. Look, I'm a journalist too, okay? All My right. name is Rosa Clemente. I ran for vice president in 2008. I'm gonna break my shit down to you. All right. And I am a journalist and have been for 10 years. Okay. As a journalist, if any mother, white, black, Latino, Asian, whatever, says, please don't take, because the children become targets on YouTube or whatever by crazy supremacists and crazy people, mm -hmm. that was. If you have been there last night when it was all of us drumming and singing and dancing at 2 a.m. in the morning and it was just adults, there wouldn't have been a problem. But you gotta understand this, man. 
Right. Well no, then, can no, I can I'm, I ask I'm you the reason, the, the reason why? So this is why I'm the having the conversation I, with you. I'm just in, yes. I'm just interacting with you so that you understand what we're yes. saying. Yes. When they kill seven year old kids, and in Cleveland they pull up in a park and in one second kill Tamir Rice, do you think that the police are not putting files on our children? Absolutely. Yeah.